This river in Indonesia used to be called the dirtiest river in the world. For years, it was so polluted that many thought clean water would never flow through it again. But guess what? Thanks to a massive effort by the government and local communities, the Chittagong River is finally turning a corner. In this video, we're going to take a closer look at the importance of this river, what went wrong, and how it's now the site of one of the biggest river cleanup operations in the world. First, let's understand why the Chitarum River matters so much to Indonesia. It's located in West Java and it stretches about 297 kilometers. People have lived along its banks in the 5th century, yeah, it's seen a lot, including the rise and fall of the Tanumanagara Kingdom. Today, the Chitarum provides drinking water for more than 25 million people, irrigates rice fields and powers three hydroelectric plants. In other words, it's a lifeline. So, how did such an important river get so badly polluted? For decades, nobody really kept track of what was being dumped into it. Over 2,000 textile factories discharged toxic waste, stuff like lead, mercury and cadmium, straight into the water. Add to that untreated sewage from millions of residents, plus agricultural runoff filled with pesticides and fertilizers, and you got a recipe for disaster. Algae blooms dead zones and massive piles of plastic waste started choking the river. The damage, aquatic life, got nearly wiped out. People suffered from skin problems, respiratory diseases and waterborne illnesses. Livelihoods got damaged as farmers and fishers were losing income. Water supply was harmed as Jakarta struggled with rising water treatment costs. You're probably wondering, if things were this bad, how did they start fixing it? Well. Change has been slow but steady, and it got major boost with the Chitano Harum Revitalization Program, officially launched in 2018 through Presidential Regulation No. 15. The effort was documented in a 2024 book called Chitano Harum, Caring for Rivers, Saving Lives, presented at the World Water Forum. What makes this program different? It's built on a pentahelix model, a fancy way of saying it brings together five forces. Government sets policies and enforces environmental laws. Businesses support with sustainable practices and corporate social responsibility. Communities lead local initiatives and education. Media helps spread awareness and motivation. Academia contributes with research and know-how. There are 12 focus areas, but here are 5 that made a real impact. Critical land management. This means restoring vital lands to prevent erosion and protect the ecosystem. Depending on the type of land, the efforts include things like planting trees, agroforestry, and building terraces. It's all about making the land work with nature, not against it. Domestic Wastewater Management By 2023, they already exceeded the goal, reaching almost 480,000 households with better sanitation. They built septic tanks, small treatment plants, and launched educational campaigns to stop open defecation and promote hygiene. Waste Management this one, you can literally see the difference. The idea is to treat waste not as trash, but as a resource. The Chitterum watershed generated over 1.3 million tons of waste in 2023, most from homes and markets. On that, more than 1.1 million tons were successfully managed or reduced. Industrial Waste Control This was a tough one. The goal is to monitor over 1,800 factories by 2025. They're building wastewater treatment plants, running training programs, and cranking down on polluters, even shutting down illegal outlets when needed. Livestock Waste Management Cattle waste is a big issue, packed with nutrients and bacteria that mess up water quality. Some farmers now treat manure to make fertilizers or biogas, but many is still dumping the river. The program is working to change that with better infrastructure and farmer education. So, has it worked? Absolutely! Though, there is still a long way to go. Since the program officially kicked off in 2018, the water quality index jumped from 33.43, severely polluted, to 50.78, lightly polluted, in 2023. The goal is to hit 60 by 2025, which would mean clean water. Biochemical oxygen demand levels have dropped, meaning there is less organic waste in the water, and people will report less visible trash, faster water drainage during floods, and more green growth along with the banks. The Chitarum Harum project is proof that cleaning a river, even the dirtiest one in the world, is totally possible. It's not just about tech or loss, it's about teamwork, long-term commitment, and local and global cooperation. This project shows the world what's possible when communities, governments, and industries come together. And maybe, just maybe, it will inspire other polluted rivers around the globe to start their own comeback stories. 